राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 राधे
thank you, uh, thank you, your mother. Those who had given birth to you, a boy, <laughs> so much qualified like you. So, so much thank to her mother, to his mother. No. No. Uh. Namami Nanda 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 Namami Nanda
Also, you can tell, uh, say, about the plans here we want to do here. Some center also about. Namo Vishnu Pradaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shimate Gauragavinda Swami Tanamine, Namo Vishnu Pradaya, Radhikaya Priyatmane, Shri Shimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Tinamine, Namo Vishnu Pradaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tanamine, Namaste Sanjavati Devi, Gauravani Pacharane, Nivashesha Sanjavati Paskatade Shatarane. So, first of all, I would like to welcome Prince of Narayan Guru, Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Maharaj Subramanian along with his entourage who are coming from Mathura and all the, all the devotees, followers and the guests who are coming to hear from him for the first time. So I was reflecting before um, having to come up here and speak how this week in Birmingham is for most very important week you have the, what's it called, the summit meetings where you have leaders of, the heads of state from around the world they're meeting tomorrow I believe in Birmingham to discuss how they will um, create some solutions to problems in the world i.e. the um, um, debt that they have in the third world etc. So they're going to sit down at round tables and have their discussions and for us, who are starting to get some taste for Harikata, um, such things would be very, very dry. But we hear from the Srimad Bhagavatam 5,000 years ago that when the leaders of society wanted to create, um, some, wanted to come up with some solution for the problems, um, they gathered at Namasharani Forest and they met Sutta Goswami. And when inquiring from Sutta Goswami how to um, bring about some solution for the problems which would come in Kali Yuga, which is now, that Sutta Goswami he advised them to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam, to hear Harikata. So we see that this week is important in Birmingham, but it's not important because these heads of states who are wielding so much power and influence in the world, apparent power and influence, are here. But actually, it's very important because a pure devotee of Krishna has come to Birmingham to speak Harikata, and that is Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. 
So, actually, this occasion is more auspicious than I personally can even fathom with my very limited and conditioned um, brain. But I can only think, and this I think repeatedly, how glorious um, Srila Bhakti Danta Narayan Maharaj is that at such an advanced age, after having lived in the holiest of places, Vrindavan Mathura, for the last 50, 60 years, with um, no want but tasting so much ananda, so much bliss and ecstasy, that he's giving up, um, apparently giving up the land of Vrindavan. Because wherever he goes, he takes Vrindavan with him. And he gives it um, in so many ways. Now, through his harikata, his glances. So, just how glorious he is for coming in such situation um, to benedict the world and actually bring about the real solution for um, whole society. Not just the human beings, but all living entities. Knowingly and unknowingly, um, everybody is getting benefit from his harikata. Um, there's a verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam, I hope I remember it. Janasya Krishna Vimukasya Daibat Adama Slasya Sudukitasya Anugraha Yena Saranti Nulam Babyanti Bhutani Janadanasya That Janasya Krishna Vimukasya Daibat That in this material world, the living entities, they've turned away from Krishna. Um, and Adama Silasya, Sudukitasya, that they engage in Adamic activities, very irreligious activities. But, Bhutani Bhavyani, but those sadhus, those saints, they undergo all kinds of inconvenience to travel, to traverse the globe, and they give the mercy of Lord Janadan, or Lord Krishna. So, we are very fortunate that such a person as Srila A.C. Bhakti Danta Swami Prabhupada that he underwent so much inconvenience, so much austerity at such a late age to come and benedict us and bless us and by his mercy um, we are here to hear such sweet Harikata and in that same line, in that very very glorious line um, now Srila Bhakti Danta Narayan Maharaj is also doing the same so we can see just how close he is to Srila A.C. Bhakti Bhakti Swami Prabhupada. That Srila Prabhupada has come and he's planted so many seeds and continuing in his line, he is also traveling at late age, undergoing all kinds of inconveniences, um, nurturing, loving, showing so much affection in a way which um, myself and I guess most of us um, have never experienced before that it's just um, actually melting stone hearts. So it's stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam that if one is feeling very stone hearted, it is due to apparats. But when hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, even the apparats, um, he's starting to have so much effect. So I just um, ask also from devotees um, that they benedict me, that I be able to be part of a solution to the problems by hearing Harikata. In the Srimad Bhagavatam is stated, Nigama Kapatara Galitam Falam Shuka Mukhat Amita Drava Samitam. That is, Harikata is coming down the simplex succession from personalities like Shukadeva Goswami. And it's Amrita Drava Samitam. It's flowing. Uh, it's like nectar just oozing and it's being um, nourished, it's being relished uh, but not in the mouth but by the ears. So we see that Shilavati Dantanarai Maharaj he has this entourage of devotees who are Nigama Kalpataru Galitam Falam Shukha Mukha Dhamitra Dravasanta Pibata Bhagavatam Rasa Alyam 
who have dedicated their lives to relishing Hari Kata. Mm. So this really is the solution for the um, problems in society, individually and collectively. Because by such Hari Kata, then it purifies the consciousness and the ether in the, on the planet. And Pibata Bhagavatam Ras Aliyam Muhu Aho Rasika Bhuvi Bhavakam that one should taste and hear this Harikata um, till death. That that is really the Dharma, that is the religion, to hear Harikata. And by such, um, it can only be done really by hearing from somebody who actually um, has got Hari within his heart, who has got Krishna within his heart. So this house, the um, residents of the house, I believe they're not here yet, but they're so fortunate that Shulnarai Maharaj, he stayed here I think three years in a row, and before that, my Diksha Guru, Shula Govinda Maharaj, he also stayed here, and the residents in the street, they're so fortunate, the residents of Birmingham, they're so fortunate, and the residents of the planet are so fortunate that such a personality as Shula Bhatti Dantanai Maharaj is coming and very compassionately um, bestowing his mercy, whether they know it or not, but still. And when they come in contact, then his harikata, his personage, is so sweet that it's um, irresistible. So he's asked me to say a few words um, about our plans in Birmingham. Um, really, um, they are um, his plans, and we just hope to be able to be instruments for his plans to be carried out. So we plan to get a preaching center in this area and it is the desire of Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj that um, many of his, as we see his family, is um, rapidly growing and increasing. So he, those who um, would like to, um, who can also tolerate being in a city because actually city is no is not a proper place for spiritual cultivation. But um, out of compassion, then the sadhus they come to the cities and they um, have preaching centers or temples so that um, people in the cities they have a chance to hear Hari Kata. So he wants to have a center here in Birmingham and to benedict the um, living entities in Birmingham, and also for devotees who are um, wanting that association um, to hear Harikata, that they can come and also be nourished by this Harikata. And he also will be sending his brahmacharis from Mathura. After he leaves tomorrow, um, Subal Sakaprabhu, he'll be staying here, and he'll be staying here for two weeks, and he'll be giving morning and evening classes from Brihad Bhagavatam Gita. So he'll give about 20 classes on Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. After that, he'll go to France for two weeks and give about 10 classes from another scripture. And then after that, Holland. So in this way, um, Shil Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj is not just, he's expanding his um, preaching potency um, in so many ways. And we will see for, as years come that more of his brahmacharis like Shubhananda Prabhu and others, they will be coming and giving real mercy to um, this very dry, um, parched Western world. So again, I'd just like to thank um, Maharaj for coming to Birmingham. Shiva Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. Timirandhasya Dhyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militanjina Sri Guravedi Nama Bancha Kalpatur Hesha Kripashindhu Devacha Patitanam Pamanidhu Vaishnavidhu Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishna Hare Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratishna Guruve Gauratishna Radhikai Tadale 
कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नाउ एटली प्लेयर इन माय टू आई एम हियरिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट अ वेरी ग्रेट वॉर विल कम ऑल विल बी फिनिश्ड वेर टू गो वेर टू हाइड एंड वॉज टू डू सम आर सेलिंग दैर प्रॉपर्टी and they are seeking some lonely places where bomb cannot affect <laughs> we are hearing that lost angel is going to be ruined very soon lost angel and there will be no trace of lost angel so many things so many yeah as it predictions are now <coughs> i'm hearing here and there all are somewhat disturbed and worry for that but there is nothing to be worry nothing this problems are from beginning of the creation of this world these are not n- new at all not new and we try to be so happy in this world without any problem but i know that we only create all troubles and all problems we are creator of god is not creator i know that now it is all human being has been so much self centralized and self selfish they want that we should make so big big weapons and any other should that do i should tell lie but all should i tell true i should be cruel but all should be so we want to be like this who is making all these problems i see that they are so much rich they have invented so many things that whole globe world has become a very a smaller thing we can hear him from opposite side of a world one and to another one we can see we can see that uh, president clinton is speak is speaking on this days and we are hearing his voices and everything something a cricket match is going on anywhere in england between australia and england and all that so much interested to see it we can fly very soon from one place to another and we can round the whole world in some hours so whole world has become so small but our scientists and their researches has been so much some of co of course why at first we have seen that there was so much love and affection between husband and wife children brothers and brothers sisters and brothers and neighbors with also neighbors but now it has become so rare in flat one flat living anyone not knowing that who is he a death is there and in the and the very never a marriage ceremony is going a man is dying and one man making so merry so 
there is a problem not of these things making women and all these things there is a problem at that our real prem love and affection has gone away this is the quality of heart we have lost now we have no sympathy for others no love and affection for others in western countries especially there is the air is also affecting in india now also no love between husband and wife all the changing changing like animals and thus big problem comes why you are not solving all these things they should sit and solve they are solving these things and if not solving this more and more problems are coming who has made weapons so for for who had who were these very persons those who are sitting now they created all these things so there is only solution for all these things we should have so much faith in god so much a love and affection for all even for our keepers why they are slaughtering so many cows and <laughs> um, rams uh, sheep goats fishes why they are doing they are um, have they are pass or anything for they are doing these all these thing nonsense why they are doing if they are doing all then why uh, yeah. a reaction will not come surely it will come big big wars will may come but i know that only they will will be affected who are doing this nonsense so you should that be very those who are chanting and remembering supreme personality of god head those who have so much belief in god they will not be affected we know that we have come to this world for a very short time death is sure whether today or after today after 3 4 days after 100 years it will must must come so why to fear from these bumps and all it can touch atma soul never it can so you should be strong believe that Every anything powerful bumps <coughs> will not affect any soul. So never was it. We know that there had been so many times world is world was destroyed. <laughs> Then in a moment new world was created, but not a single soul was affected by these things. So you should not be worried. Always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It is very powerful medicine. If you chant like this, lakhs and lakhs head rosem and atom bumps will not affect you, not a little. so you should not fear let them fear those who are doing all this nonsense they will always fear so my request is to hear hari katha like parikshit maharaj he heard hari katha from shukde goswami like chaitanya mahaprabhu showed his mercy telling hari katha to all he told first in his life when he was a boy but very intelligent very beautiful always so much happy and he was at that time reading his school like byakaran hindi english him sanskrit grammar and the keshav kashmiri came 
very learned person, defeating all the learned persons in the whole world, especially India. He was very learned person in Vedas, Upanishads and all things, and he could uh, recite in moment thousands and thousands of slopes, new slopes, new. He defeated all everywhere in Kashi, in Mithila, and so many places. And he came to, at that time, Nodi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, only his age was like twelve or eleven. 12 or 13 like this. And he has opened in this very age, little age, he has opened a Sanskrit grammar school. So many boys were there. Huh? Mahaprabhu is teaching them English grammar. So well. That Pandit came and announced, I want to defeat, challenge any letter person. And if anyone wants to debate with me, I have given them challenge, challenging them. So no, no one came in front. They told that if you are such a learned person, then you just should go and debate with Nimai Pandit. He is only very... Uh, <laughs> and not so much learned, only grammar, he knows something. So he is our like disciples of disciples. So you should go and contest. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, with little boys on the side of Ganges, when son was going to say it, very good scenery was there. Sun was red and going into the river. <laughs> And all river was so red, reddish. And at once, in the council of these little, little boys, Kesho Kashmiri, having big tavern with so many books and so many disciples, he came. He saw that so many boys, oh, very little, little boys, are reading and learning something in grammar. So he sat there to watch what they are doing. All that so much honor, had so much honor for Chaitanya, this little boy. He was so beautiful and so strong personality that Kesav Kashmiri was thunder, bold, eh? thunder strong. Then, <coughs> He thought that, who is that boy? Then any boy told, oh, you don't know. He is our Gurudev. He is our teacher. And well known in Navadev. And he said, oh, I have heard the name of this Nimai Pandit. <laughs> oh, she is, she is very big personality first boy. Hmm? Mahaprabhu knew that this Pandit has come, come to Debate eh? with me, Mahaprabhu, very simply, some smiling, told like in a manner of a very little disciple, very humbly he asked me. I have heard that you are a very learned person. So I want some to hear some beautiful slokas that you have eh, done. He told that I never speak what I have told before, or written before. I can, in a moment I can, do new, 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 very beautiful, without any wrong thing, and very sweet I can do. What should I, what do you want to hear? He showed that. I want to hear the glory of Ganges. Oh. And in some minutes they spoke about hundred new slopes, very ornamented style. All the birds were surprised. Oh, how lovely he is! And he was looking that what they are a fact that I have told. So all were astonished. 
in the meantime, Caitanya Mahaprabhu. But I want to hear among all these slok, any one slok, that you should tell the explain and tell what are wrong and what are merit and demerit of this slok. Merit and demerit of this slok. He told that Keshav Kashmiri has no wrong anything in his slokes. Never, never anything defect. Caitanya Mahaprabhu humbly, humbly told that may I tell something? some defects, and from what is slok you want? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the middle, among the, his slok, from middle, one slok he told. And he told that you should explain. He told that I have no eh, mistake or anything. Then he told that should I do? Should I uh, tell any mistakes? That What are mistakes? Yes, you can do. Then he was surprised that how you took one slope among my slope that in a minute I told all these things. Anyone cannot remember? Then Mahaprabhu is smiling told, if anyone can make so many slope in a minute, then how? Why not a person can remember all these things that you have told in a minute? <laughs> Then his face was somewhat changed. Well, uh, changed. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu he told five uh, demerits and five merits of this. And thus he was defeated. He could not answer anything. And his proud went on. And he went at once. The boys wanted to climb, creep, climb. climb, climb. But Mahaprabhu warned me, you should not do like this. Always try to respect all. He is a respectable person. And told him that, I want that today you should take rest and I will see you. In the night he began to pray her, his worshipable deity, Saraswati Devi, that why you made so? Now I am not in a situation to show my face anywhere. I have defeated, but I am sorry that, worry that, I have been defeated only for, from a very little small boy and not so learned, only some not knowing grammar. In the dream, her worshipful deity came and told, he was so lucky, he is not a little boy, his Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhandra Krishna, and that is by my mercy you have seen that. So in the morning you should go and fell flat on his lotus feet and pray for forgiveness. For in the very morning, at about four in the morning, we went to the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and fell flat on the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Way beginning, mercy, Mahaprabhu told what? The fruit of learning, learning is not to fight with anyone. The fruit of all learnings, Ved Upanishad and all things, is to serve Krishna. So you should go at once to any good devotee and hear the glories of Supreme Personality of God and try to chant, remember and hear the past times of Krishna if you want to be happy. So at once you should go. There will be no problem at all in life. So those who want to be happy in this world, this world is not a place of happy. This is like a jail. Very severe jail, severe, very suffering jail. In this world, nature has made a jail base that who will forget Krishna and his service and love and affection they will give up. This is a jail for them. So in jail, anyone never, he cannot be happy. So in this world, anyone cannot be happy. Never and never. 
a old age come, will come, so many suffering will come, so many problems we are coming, you are seeing in this world. You are suffering all. You are not suffering so much, but sufferings. Who? The concept who is sitting in Birmingham now. There is so much afraid and one will attack with all these weapons. So they are. They have so many things with them. But they want that anyone should not in this world have this. So all should fear fear from me. They want. So they are making program from so many long, long years. But they fail. They never can like this. No solution. Nothing for the all of this. So only chanting of name. So you should go and also chant Hari name and be always happy. A person who is not chanting and remembering, especially has no faith in God, he will never be happy, cannot be happy. So we should be strong in this. One Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, went to uh, East Bengal, he was married at that time with Lakshmi Priya. Lakshmi Priya. He went there. And he was giving so much classes, Bhagavad Pat and all this. A Brahmin Tapan Mishra came and told, I want to know what is the. Huh? Sadhan and Sadhgata. The goal of life and how to achieve this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told one, one answer. Oh, there are so many kinds of uh, goals, so many kinds of goals. For whom those who are uh, not devotees, who were, had, they had so many desires, worldly desires. desires, so many. So there are so many desires, they cannot be happy for anyway. So there are so many goals for them, sometimes money, sometimes fame, sometimes controlling others, sometimes having so many cars, beautiful cars, so much luxurious palaces and so many things. Sometimes aeroplanes also, so many things. But by having this, they are never satisfied, never. And anyone cannot be satisfied because we are part and parcel of Supreme Personality of Godhead. So <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, that should be one life of God. Eh? Goal of life. Uh, one goal of life. And what that? Always chant, remember the glories of Krishna, Supreme Personality of God. And you can achieve this by association of Vaishnavas who are truly Vaishnava, who don't want to cheat anyone. They don't want to make any problem for anyone, always helping them. No selfishness at all. They want that all should be happy forever. They want to change the mood of all jivas from mm, from worldly desires to serve Krishna. So we should go and serve them and by this, especially by chanting and this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, This is a very powerful mantra. If nothing desire, worldly desire, no offenses, and you are chanting with a simple heart, 
then very soon we will realize this thing. And love and affection for Krishna and for all will come and then you can be happy. So in this world, this love and bad mood is very rare. But all time the devotees of Krishna God, they want to preach this thing to the whole world. Once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called Haridas Thakur and Nityananda Prabhu and he told, <coughs> what he told, you remember? First, Suna Suna Nityananda Suna Haridas, you know perhaps, to preach and bathe, <coughs> from door to door you should go. And bathe, <coughs> that you should give me, I want some donation. What donation you want? I want that you should once chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama. There used to be law that what? This is a mad person. Not begging anything, money or anything. Only begging that you should chant Krishna. So Mahaprabhu is telling them that you should chant all this. What? Mm, three things. Uh, you chant Krishna. Boga Krishna, Bhaja Krishna, Dara Krishna, Shikha. Three things. You should go and tell them to chant Krishna to remember Krishna and to know who is God, what are the qualities of God and glories of God. By three things all will be happy. So those who are so much fortunate they will take it. So Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas Prem in Navadvi town and he began to tell like this, door to door, begging Harinam Bhikkha. This is called Nam Hatta. Many smiling something and they used to tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Those who were not telling, they used to sit there. I will not go without hearing your, from your mouth. Some are thinking that they are mads. So Bhasi went to Jagai and Madhai, very learned person and very rich person, but taking always wine. They were mad. And thus they were like giants for gents. Giant, giant. Giant. Giants. Giants. Giants were very wicked persons. Like demon. Like demon. Anyone cannot pass by the way they, where they were sitting and taking wine. All you used to fear. But Chaitanya, Nityananda Pru and Haridas went there and told that, What you are you doing? You should chant Hare Krishna Hare. At once hearing, they become very furious. furious. And one of them. Uh, slap and with that vessel, part, part of vessel, and it was cut him, attacked, and thus injury came and blood came. At once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is with all followers chanting Hare Krishna Dev at once came. Mahaprabhu was so furious that he called his chakra, O oh chakra, O oh chakra. And chakra came in his hand, hands and he wanted to cut the head. But Nityananda uh, fell, fell on his face and told that in this incarnation, you should not do like this. You should try to change the mode of this. So you should be merciful to that. He has sent me this Madhai uh, Jagai. One of them has shipped him. 
So you should be merciful to this. Oh, he accepts you? He at once touched by his lotus hands and at once he began to weep and to cry, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama. At once he was changed. Then his second Madhai also began to weep that we are brothers, we have distributed their mercy to him, but not to me. Why? Because you are <coughs> you are written in the Lord's feet of Nityan. <coughs> then at once you should go to Nityananda Prabhu and beg pardon. And if he is satisfied, I will give also him. At once he fell flat on the Lord's feet of Nityananda. And he was changed totally. They became, became pure devotees. They became sadhu. So by this name all can be changed. Also there are so many instances. Where? He also <coughs> gave so many teachings uh, to Rabindranath Das Goswami. What are they? Rabindranath Das Goswami. about any worry, but in, and in our mind always be in Vrindavan and serve Shishinara Krishna conjugal. What he has told to Rupa Goswami? In this world there are so many kinds of jivas and how any Sobhagyaman ji Hare Krishna. So hence Sri Rupa Goswami met with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Mahaprabhu based his mercy and he instructs him for the whole world. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructs him that it's mentioned in Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Rupa Siksha, Brahmanda Bhamita Kano Bhagavanji Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. Mercy of Guru and Krishna, some fortunate soul, they can get the seed of bhakti, the get seed of devotion. What is this desire to serve Krishna? It is called bhakti lata bij. Its external symptom is sraddha. That sraddha means sraddha tu anno paya varjam krishna mukhi jitta vritti vishesha. That I shall must serve Krishna if someone cut my body into pieces, yet I should not reject Harinam. It is called Sadha. And it is Sila Kovira Jivasami mentioned here that Guru Krishna Prasadepaya Bhukti Lata Bij. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna, some practitioner can get the seeds of devotion. So nothing is there in the soul. What came from the mercy of Guru and Vaishnava, Guru and Krishna? So all living entity have some constitutional form, but it is now at present latent position. Just like there is a mango seed, neem seed, tamarind seed, so many seeds. But if we put in earth, in fertile earth, and you put pour water, light, air, then it will sprout and gradually it will develop and it will one day it will be a big tree. 
Similarly, algebra some consular family called in latent position. When we associate with Gurian voice of the it will be developed. Just like that water from constellation sati, if it contact with oyster soul, it produces pearl. If it contact with hood of snake, then it generates jewel. If an elephant, it is called no, you've been uh, banana tree, camphor. So many different, different places, different, different things. So all jivas has some different, different constitutional form, not same form. When he took initiation from Bonafide Guru Dev and associated with Vaishnava and Guru, then his mood will be developed. Guru Krishna Prasad Bhai Bhukti Ladavi, there's something in inside in the, that soul and when it contact with that Krishna Seva Vasana, that mercy of Guru and Krishna, then he can develop his mood. Or so someone can think, oh, nothing inside in Jeevas, only in the mercy of Krishna and Guru, it is not correct. Something is in mercy of Guru and Krishna and something in Jeevas constitutional form. When they contact each other, then it produces, then it develops Krishna consciousness. If not so, the same gardener, same bank of Ganges, but so many different kinds, different types of seeds, and same gardener putting water nourishing the seeds, why different, different tree came, comes from that seed and different, different fruits come from that? Same gardener, same fertile land, same water, Similarly, the all givers have different, different moods. When they associate with Guru and Vaishnava, their moods will be developed. 